I mean, I'm work two days a week, uh, my school three days, where I have uh, social studies, French and mathematics. So, and uh, one day I have uh, outside of school um, for uh, t traveling and stuff. Uh, or else I have been uh, extremely busy uh, trying to uh, mix up a new band. I uh, have training and uh, also there's a lot of people that want uh, me to help them and uh, so on. I have a lot of meetings about my future, everything, my uh, my uh, uh, performance have also been a whole lot of things that's been pushing me down, I've been really tired, I have to read for tests that's going to be real soon, and uh, I also have a few issues in my personal life, and a whole lot, that was good to take out. Now, welcome to my Dual Master podcast, and today we're going to take for us... <laughs> Yes, and as you see, I haven't been on a whole lot now. Um, also, one thing I wonder about what in the world I'm going to do when um, Kajudo releases, uh, but let's go now. One thing that you may wonder what kind of cards do you want to use? Uh, I did go a whole lot into it uh, earlier, but you have to think what civilization should you use? Uh, because you can use one civilization, because then mana is not a problem. You need uh, the type of mana that you want to summon, you have to use that. If you just have only one type of mana, that's really easy, because then you can just use the mana you want. If you have two, then you have to take care of that, you have to have both of the civilization into the mana zone, and use the one you are, want to do. If you have three, that's even uh, more difficult, but not still, that that's not the worst thing. If you have all the five civilization in, in your deck, that's... That that's, that's a, could be a problem, but still it works if you make the deck properly. Uh, if you uh, would like to have, uh, for example, a block deck, then you put blockers in. Then there's three civilizations, plus one nature card that has the block effect. You can still have a blocker deck if you uh, use another civilization, if you use uh, a nature card. But you should really make uh, the deck balanced. So you shouldn't let, let just like uh, put everything inside of the deck as you want. Uh, I learned in Japan, in, when I was in Japan, that that's, that does it pay back at all. You should do something that's really uh, works in your deck, and um, yeah, that could work. So uh, I'm going to show you now a deck I made and uh, what I did for making it. Look at this. This is 40 cards. Yes, yeah, really 40 cards. This is a three civilization deck. Uh, I think it's called Bullet Fire or something that they call it. Um, uh, this is a thing that's uh, been going on in uh, in uh, the American continent now that people are making this, but it's uh, been many years. Uh, let's start with the first cards here. Here I have water cards. A whole lot of them are draw cards. They make it easy to draw. This is not so normal to use a whole lot of spells, but. Um, Eventually, there's more than one person that have been asking me to make a deck like this. Over here, I also have uh, some there that could send back to our opponent's hand and stuff. If you go to the um, uh, fire cards, I have some uh, some destroy cards, like a three hell scraper, uh, which destroys uh, a combination of uh, five thousand power. Uh, of your opponents, of course. Uh, this card also uh, has the effect of choosing to destroy um, either um, uh, card in the battle zone or the mana zone. Here we also have cards that could be handy for um, uh, for uh, getting more um, more of um, uh, mana and stuff. Also have a few more destroying stuff going on there. And here I also have um, more um, uh, nature cards. And it finally gets up to um, the creatures, which is not many, but I have a whole lot more uh, creatures than is uh, usually uh, normal in uh, this type of deck. Like those four are also mana cards that you can easily get mana from. Uh, this card is a blocker. I I should have a, have a few more blockers. Like uh, it's the same card, um, two of them. Um, and uh, the thing is, that uh, this build, so you get a whole lot of cards on your hand, and uh, cards in the mana zone, and that makes it easy to get uh, mana fast. Like, uh, this card, I like this. It, it costs 8, and it's at 13,000 power, and um, triple breaker. So we all fast get this card out, and then you can fast break shields. This is Bolgas Dragon, I have uh, 3 of it. 
Uh, this have triple breaker and a power attack of 5,000. Itself has uh, 4,000 power, um, and uh, that 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 is a good card. Uh, a card that is the next best one here, I think. Uh, well, next um, professional. This is uh, Genji Double Cross. Uh, this works as um, a twin cannon skater, but it costs one less mana, and it also have uh, have uh, have. Um, uh, what is it called again? It, it is called um, uh, Knight, I think. And yeah, Knight, I think. I think what what is Kung Fu Soul. Kung Fu Soul. Sorry, it's Kung Fu Soul. And uh, sorry if you didn't see him much right now, but um, uh, this card also have uh, another ability. Uh, something about uh, destroy one blocker stuff going on. The top card here is this one. You can see this card costs 12 mana, but when you get it out, it has 12,000 power, and it also has triple breaker, I guess. Uh, does that mean it's not over here? Yes, it has triple breaker. So you get a double breaker there, you have a triple breaker there, three triple breaker there, and two triple breakers there. So uh, when you get a lot of mana, you can just uh, knock your uh, opponent out in um, two turns, unless you have a whole lot of blockers. But there are cards here that can destroy blockers, so. Um, this was a really good deck, and um, what you should do, you should do this as uh, great as possible. This deck concentrates a whole lot of getting out the big creatures, and um, in front of that I have a whole lot of spells. I haven't tried this car, this uh, this type of deck, uh, but I, I think you now have the big possibility of making a deck. Um, like you can use uh, the type of race, for example, uh, you can use one type of race to... Um, Use it's evolving or something. That is also possible. Only the fantasy can uh, put you back here, so you can do whatever you want. A thought get, <laughs> okay. Uh, and um, yeah, and there's one other thing is that uh, there's more to this that I'm going to show you than just uh, making the deck itself. Uh, that's I'm going to take for me the next podcast. And um, into next time, carry on, and goodbye. <laughs>